Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 20th of 2020. Well, it is titled quadranted meteors through Orion. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken of the quadranted meteor shower. Meteor showers are named for the constellation from which the meteors appear to radiate. So we see them here all traveling parallel. But if you could trace them back, they would all appear to come from uh, an area near the constellation of Butes. Now they're called the quadranted meteor shower because when they were originally named there was another constellation that was used there quadrans moralis and those are no that is no longer used about a hundred years ago the International Astronomical Union defined the list of constellations and that one is no longer part of the group of constellations that are used by astronomers however the naming still remains. Now we can see all the meteors which are just tiny bits of dust and ice that are burning up in the Earth's atmosphere causing them to glow. And as we say they're passing through Orion they really have nothing to do with the constellation itself. The stars of course are at all varying distant different distances and the meteors are within our own Earth's atmosphere. So they're passing through the direction of the constellation of Orion, but of course not through the constellation itself. Now when you move the mouse over the image, it is annotated and you will see some of the areas that are labeled there. And you can see the belt of Orion, for example, and a number of other areas that are labeled. So Orion's belt, three bright stars very close together. And the other stars in Orion, uh, Rigel down below Orion's belt is the bright blue star. And up above labeled is Betelgeuse, which is unusually dim right now. So Betelgeuse and Rigel are generally about the same brightness, pretty close. And here we see that Betelgeuse is in an unusually dim state right now, something that astronomers are studying. Betelgeuse is a variable star and does change in brightness and may just be reaching an unusually low minimum right now, but it is certainly something that astronomers would like to watch. Now outside of Orion we see a number of other stars. We see to the left of Orion we see Sirius and Procyon. Uh, those are the two stars in the constellations of the hunting dogs. Sirius in the larger dog Canis Major and Procyon in Canis Minor. And those two stars then the hunting dogs follow Orion through the sky sky as things rise in the east and set in the west. So as Orion moves across this from left to right, the two dogs would appear to follow him. We can also see other bright stars Regulus towards the upper left. And not labeled here, I can point out is Aldebaran uh, towards the right of Orion, the star in the constellation of Taurus, uh, in between Betelgeuse and the Pleiades star cluster off to the right. So that's another bright reddish star shows up reddish there. And towards the top of the image, we do see two stars, Castor and Pollux, the two twin stars of Gemini that are also present. So there's a lot to see in this image, a lot of, of, of portions of this and much of which is visible right now in the winter sky. So that was our picture of the day for January the 20th of 2020. It was titled Quadranted Meteors Through Orion. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be sun sounds. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.